Hey everybody, just welcoming people in right now. You guys feel free to chat amongst yourselves for a few minutes while I'm getting everybody in here if you'd like. Yeah. Uh, Wait, are you on this? Wait, are you on this? There are so many people. Boy. Hey, JD. Hey, JD. Why, why are you wearing a beanie? It's, my head's cold. <clears throat> <laughs> so I think you look very nice with the haircut. Keep the shirt off your head. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Grazel. Huh? I forgot to hey. <laughs> Grab the chair. Hey, Jesse, you're here. This is the hey. first time I've heard anything from you. Good to see you, or good to see you're here anyway. From Julian, I walked in and everyone saw my outfit. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Callie, do you like that? Oh, why is everyone copying my haircut? <laughs> Jesse, what are you eating? Um. What? Okay, here you go. Okay, I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna try to mark down who's here and who's not. This is gonna take a little while because this is both my math three classes. So it's 60, it's 60 people that I have to get through to see if you're all here. So bear with me here, folks. Um, okay, so is Sequoia here? And Natalie. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, so Koya, Natalie, are here. Um, Gage, I don't think I saw you. Are you here, Gage? No, not a chance. Okay, how about April? Okay, I saw May. Let's see, Annette, are you here? Okay, Leo, I saw you pop in. Oh, there's Annette right there. Okay, Annette's in and Michaela's in. Okay. Um, let's see, Ethan, are you here? Yep, I can see Ethan's here. Jack here. Let's see, Kathy, is Kathy here? Here. I don't see Kathy anywhere. I'm here. Oh, you are here? I don't know why you're not popping up. I hear you though, so we'll go with that. Okay. And then Zach, I saw you come in. Haley, I think I saw Haley, right? No, maybe not. Um, Xavier, Xavier here. Yep, Xavier's here. Is Gianna here? I'm here, Xavier's here. Yep, I got gotcha. you. Thanks, Xavier. I don't think Gianna's here. Um, let's see, Brooklyn's here. Callie and Katie are both here. Is Nick here? I don't see Nick. How about Alex? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Um, Michaela's here. Is Elizabeth here? Yep, Elizabeth is here. Is Marissa here? I don't see Marissa. How about Aaron? Say goodbye. Okay, I see Grace is here. Is Trenton here? Okay, how about Ian? 
How about Brandon? Okay, I think I saw Nate here. Oh, there's Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Hello. <laughs> um, is Jimena here? Yep. I'm Hi. Here. <laughs> I hear you. Um, let's see, Audrey, did I see you here? Hi. Hi. Um, how about Wyatt? Or Karma? I'm yep. Here. Okay, I see Wyatt. Okay, so there's one class down. Let me go through the other one now. How about Carla? How about Eli? Here. Okay, Eli. Okay, and I saw Soul. Is Claire here? I'm here. Hi, Claire. Jacob came in. Phoenix came in. Is Kaio here? Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Um, let's see, Jackson Garen, are you here? I am here. You are here? Yes. Where are you? Oh, I can't see you. Okay. <laughs> I hear you though. Okay, Jesse's here. Hey. Wayne is here. Wayne. No Wayne. Um, how about Colin? I probably would have heard by now if Colin was here. How about Tyler? How about Tyler? Pretty sure I saw Tyler come in here, didn't I? Tyler, are you here? Maybe you came and went. Um, Indigo, are you here? Indigo, are you here? How about all of the Jordans? Yes. I got LaForce and Wilson. Weston I saw, is Aiden here? Yeah. Okay, thanks Aiden. I saw Blake, I saw Natalie, I saw Julian. I haven't seen Julian's haircut though. I saw you cut his hair off. Spells is here. I don't think Jordan Pennington is here, right? I saw Selena come in. I saw Christina. Um, Isabella, are you here? I don't think so. Let's see. Anna, I saw you come in. Caden, I don't think you're here. Is Yasmin here? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Yasmin. All right. Whew. Okay. I think I got through all the list there. Let's see. All right. May, Aaron. Uh, yeah. I'm here. Okay. It's pretty unfortunate. Okay. But I'm here. I am now going to mute you guys. We have, um, we have 42 people in here right now. Whew. Okay. Um, I have a few things I want to talk to you guys about, just kind of in general about the class. Um, and then, um, and then I want to talk about the lesson just a little bit if I, um, if I have time to before noon, which is when our class officially ends. So that only took 10 minutes, no big deal. <clears throat> um, but anyway, I wanted to, um, to first explain that even though I'm taking role to see who's here and who's not, um, you're not um, gonna like lose credit or be marked absent if you're not here for the live Zoom meetings. Um, there's going to be important information every week that I tell you guys in the in the Zoom meeting, so it's important that you do watch the recordings later if you can't make it to the live meeting, so keep that in mind. Um, it would be great if you are not able to attend the live meeting if you send me a message when you watch the recorded meeting. So if you're watching this recorded right now, send me a message. Let me know that you did get to see the recorded meeting. Um, the way we will be, or at least the way I'll be a take, taking attendance will actually be if you are um, completing the work that I assign. Um, on that note, I tried to make sure I'm not assigning very much. I tried to, um, I'm going to try to keep each week about the same as what I did this week, where I, um, I give you guys a video to watch. You take notes while you watch the video. Um, and that, those notes is like worth five points of an assignment. Um, it should be easy to get all 100% on that because you're watching the video. If you don't have it completed, I may return it to you and ask you to complete it so you do get full credit on it. Um, so keep that in mind. If something gets returned to you and you don't have a perfect score on it, um, you can um, fix it and, um, and uh, get a perfect score on it. So keep that in mind. Um, and then after watching the video, you have um, 
you have an assignment that um, has to be done and that assignment is something I'd like you guys to, to do your best to complete. Um, the notes are due before our Zoom meeting, but the assignment is due at the end of the day. Um, and we'll always have these meetings on Wednesdays at this time. Um, and so you can always, you know, plan on having, watching the video and having the notes done before you come to the meeting. Um, and then having the assignment turned in um, by midnight on, on Wednesday. Um, it, I will be checking the assignments, the practice work that you guys are doing. Um, if it is not done completely, or if there's stuff that you didn't do correctly on it, um, I will give you guys some feedback and I will return it to you to fix. Um, I will be posting the, uh, the solutions to the assignments on Thursdays. So you'll have access to all the correct answers. Um, so if something does get returned to you, you'll be able to see the solutions to help you complete it. Um, I also have office hours scheduled throughout the week so you can get help on anything that you need help on. Um, so you can get help um, today, for example, I have office hours scheduled from three to four. Wednesdays are the only days it's from three to four. Every other day, it's going to be, um, I have office hours from two to three. Um, so Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from two to three. Um, and I believe I sent you guys all invitations to those office hours. Um, and you could even add it to your Google Calendar if you wanted to. But I'll also post the link to those office hours um, in Google Classroom later today. So again, if you need help on anything, um, we can do a Zoom meeting to get you guys help. Um, everything that you turn in this quarter, um, you should be able to get um, full credit on. Um, so if, like I said before, if you didn't do it, you know, if you didn't get full credit the first time through, I'll give you feedback um, and tell you what you need to fix. Um, and then you can return it to me um, until you get full credit. And that goes for your um, survey projects as well. Um, so I haven't finished grading those yet. The ones that I have graded look pretty good. Um, and like I said before, if there's something that, you know, isn't quite um, right about it or if it's not quite done and you don't have all 50 points on it, um, I'll give you feedback on it um, and tell you what it is that you need to do to finish it um, or to fix it and then return it to you, you can fix it, and then you can um, submit it to me again. Um, and you can keep doing that until you get um, 50 points on it. So, um, and if you need help on it, there is a, a Zoom video um, posted in Google Classroom where, you know, I kind of went from beginning to end with a bunch of, a bunch of students um, how to do that project. So I think that would be really helpful to watch that if you need help on it. Um, and you can also come to office hours um, we'll do a Zoom meeting for office hours if you want extra help on that too. So that is the talk about, um, you know, expectations for work and due dates. Um, your grade from here on out can go up. It cannot go down. Um, I think it'd be awesome if everybody got a, you know, ended the, the semester with a better grade than they, they came into this quarter with and um, you know even if you have an A right now your A can get higher too because everything that you're going to be turning in from here on out is you're going to get a hundred percent on it because I'm going to give it back to you if you don't. Um, let's see. Um, it is important to make sure you guys know um, and this was written in the letter that um, the superintendent set, sent home um, that even though your grades can't go down if you are not participating in your classes you can lose credit in them um, so it is important to make sure that you are checking in with your teachers and making sure that you're work, doing the work um, and I like I said I really tried to make sure to I limited how much work I was assigning to you guys um, just because some people have lots of free time right now and some people have way less free time than they normally would. So um, just trying to be flexible with that. 
Um, so I am going to um, just say real quick, if you have a question, you can um, click the manage participants button and then there's a way to click raise your hand. So you can jump in and raise your hand if you want to. Um, if you have a question, you can also just unmute yourself and jump in and say, excuse me, Ms. Grassle. So, um, so does anybody have a question at this point? I have a few more things to talk about, but I just wanted to pause for a second and see if there was anything that um, anybody had questions about at this point. Okay, May, go ahead and unmute yourself. Uh, I was having trouble part B and part C on the intro to trigonometry. Okay. Like, I was just having trouble with figuring out how to do that. All righty. Um, Part B and part C. Oh, okay, on that very last page there. Okay, yeah, if you want to, um, for that, we could do that during office hours sometime. Um, and if it, if you can't come today, because I think you sent a message that you wouldn't be able to do today, um, uh, you could just send me a message, can I wait to turn it in until tomorrow or something too. Um, and we could do um, the office hours tomorrow to talk about that, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Jack, you got a question? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, What's your question? On the homework, right? Okay, so I'll get to homework questions actually in a little while. So let's hold, I'll hold off on those for now. But what I'm asking about right now um, is do you have any questions on the stuff that I've talked about so far? Just kind of the plan, what's due, um, oh, no, no, I don't. office hours, anything like that. Okay, all right, um, let's see. So something to keep in mind when you are watching the videos, um, they do go really, really fast. And I'm gonna ask you guys to stop posting in the chat. Um, just make sure you're paying attention to what we're doing here, okay? Um, so the videos go really fast. Um, if you need to, you can pause and um, and watch them. Um, you know, you can back up and watch them slower, or you can pause just to copy stuff down. Um, but you know, they they do go fast. I sat and I sat through one this morning, and it was going pretty fast, and I kept having to pause so that I could get stuff written down. Um, let's see. Like I said before, if you need help with the assignment, um, you can go um, into you can come see me during a Zoom um, during office hours. Um, you can also email me questions um, and I can try to take pictures of stuff that I write down, um, you know, so, so may, maybe that's something that we could do too, is just with email, we could email some questions and, and write stuff back and forth that we take pictures of. Um, when you guys do submit your assignments, if you guys could um, scan them instead of just taking a picture, the pictures are really hard for me to see on the computer, but if you, if you scan them, and there's a few different options for scanner apps that um, I wrote up some options in the, the page that I sent out to you guys on Monday um, that's in Google Classroom. So um, if you guys could try to scan them for me, that, that really does help. Um, so that's that. Um, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about what was really important um, in the in the lesson today. Um, so some of it is uh, review stuff, um, and um, you know some of it is is new. I think most of it is probably review, but but some of it is new. Um, I tried to plug in. Um, I have this thing that allows me to use my document camera and I'm gonna try that right now, but it didn't work very well um, with my math two class. So um, um, if you guys would just speak up if you can't see what I've got here, um, but I'm gonna try to go through the notes and talk about stuff that was important there. So, you know, here is the stuff that you guys took notes on, right? The intro to trigonometry. And so this would be a good time now if there is stuff that you guys have questions on. Um, I think if you click the raise hand button, I'll be able to see you, but I don't see um, as many of you right now with this thing in the screen as I did before. Um, things to, <clears throat> excuse me, take away from this. Make sure you guys remember SOHCAHTOA. Right, so everybody remember what the SOHCAHTOA means? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. 
Okay, so um, let's see. Somebody said something in the chat. Where did we get this packet? Oh, okay. So Leo, that packet was um, posted in Google Classroom on um, Monday. Um, and so um, you don't have to print off the stuff. You can do it on another sheet of paper, um, but it is helpful for the notes anyway um, to have you know, this printed off so that you can kind of go through it. Um, but like I said, if you just do it on binder paper, you're just writing down notes anyway, so that's totally okay to do like that. Um, let's see, another thing that I wanted to kind of emphasize that's easy to forget is when you have to find a missing angle, okay? And so that was part of the notes too. And so if you're looking for the angle, that's when you use the inverse sign or the inverse cosine or the inverse tangent button on the calculator. Um, and you probably heard him talk about making sure you're in degree mode because we're dealing with degrees here. Um, if your answer comes out to be different than what he's getting on that, then um, you know that means that you may need to change your mode to degree mode. Um, on that note, if anybody doesn't have a calculator, you probably could just um, on a computer, you know, um, get a get a scientific calculator on a computer um, and that should do the trick for you um, let's see when it says solve okay so let's see if I can get this part in here here um, where it says solve that means to solve the triangle and so when you're solving a triangle that means you are solving for all of the angles and all of the sides okay so um, that's what it means when it's solved a triangle. And then um, let's see, they talked about, he talked about important angles being these, um, the 90 degree, the 180, the 270, the 360. Um, and that's because those are, um, they, they really help to use those as like reference angles as you are talking about some of the other angles. They kind of help you figure out where you're going. Um, and if you want to know, those are called, those angles all have a special name. I should have included the zero degrees there also, but those are called quadrantal angles. Can you guys figure out why they're called quadrantal angles? And I'm going to flip this over to the next image so that I can kind of talk about why they're called quadrantal angles. Oops, somebody had something to say in the chat. Let's see, what's the chat say? There's four of them. Good. I like that. Um, it's also because if you, you know, you've got the four quadrants, one, two, three, and four, and that zero degrees, the 90 degrees, the 180 degrees, the 270 degrees, those are the angles that are in between each of the quadrants. Um, and so, Jesse, you can add that to your notes if you'd like to. Um, you don't have to add it to your notes. I'm just kind of talking about some things that I think are really important takeaways from the notes. So, um, so yeah, I think if you want to add them to your notes, that would be great. Um, let's see. Another really important thing to take away from this is um, the direction of the angle. And I, when I first wrote this down, I wrote it down backwards. So make sure... Um, you have this correct and I think it's correct now, but um, you have the initial side is always the positive x-axis over here. Um, and then when you measure an angle, if you go in the counterclockwise direction, that's gonna be a positive angle. So this first, this example down here was positive 315 degrees because that was going in the counterclockwise direction, right? If it goes in the clockwise direction, so like the next one next to it there, that one's a negative angle. So again, it's clockwise, I'll put it back over here, is the negative angle, counterclockwise is the positive angle. So you usually go in the positive um, direction, which is that counterclockwise direction. Okay, so again, I think that's a really important thing. If you don't have that written down somewhere to write that down. Um, angles are coterminal, so kind of down here closer to the bottom. Um, angles are coterminal if they, um, basically if they end in the same position. Um, the guy in the video described it as different ways to label the same angle, um, but they're angles that all end in the same, that have the same terminal side. Um, and so that's the idea behind that there. 
Um, so with that being said, um, I can take some questions now on um, kind of the general assignment, if you guys had any questions on that. And I know May had questions on that last page, and so I'm going to save that kind of till the very end if we have time for that. Um, I did make a note to myself that I wanted to give you guys a hint on the last two. Oh, right, right, right. I know what I was talking about. Okay. Um, so, um, the last two are kind of review, or the last three down here are review problems. So if you guys all want to turn to these last three, I'm going to give you guys a hint on these. And then if you guys have questions, you can unmute yourself and just jump in and say, I have a question on blah, blah, blah. Um, so on 23, Remember to set it equal to zero first. So subtract nine from both sides to set it equal to zero. And then you're gonna try to factor that and then see what factors will multiply to be that, right? So it's gonna be something like this. And then you set each factor equal to zero to see what the solutions are, okay? I've got somebody waiting to join. Hang on a second. Okay, and then, um, on the next one, I made a little note there. You want to isolate that B to the 12th. So you'll divide both sides by 10 first so that you can get that B to the 12th by itself. And then um, you have to get rid of the power of 12. And the thing that undoes a power of 12, you could do a 12th root, right? So that would look like a 12th root of both sides. Um, but a way to do that on a calculator would be to do that same thing to the power of 1 12th. And so that's a little bit tricky. If you're going to type that into the calculator, you actually will hit that caret button that looks like that. And then a 1 divided by 12. And that'll do the power of, oh, but gosh, hold on, because you have to put that in parentheses also. So if you don't put that in parentheses, then it's not going to do to the power of 1 12th. Okay, so don't forget those parentheses there too. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. Um, and then on the last one, you have to use logarithms. So I shouldn't say the last one, I should say 25. So you're going to get that power by itself. So kind of like in 24, where you got the b to the 12th by itself first, you're going to isolate the 2 to the power of 2t. So you'll divide both sides by 10 first. Um, and then you'll write it in log form. And so I wrote this down to kind of help you guys remember how to do that. If you have something in exponential form, you can write it in log form by changing it into log base b of y is equal to x. Okay, so that's again, something that can kind of help you to solve that number 25 there. Okay, and then the rest of it is all trig stuff, so. Um, anything else you guys would like me to discuss? Nobody's jumping in, so maybe I'll get to May's questions. If Oh, Selena has a question. What, which one would you like to ask about Selena? Selena, it looks like you're unmuted, but I can't hear you. Selena, maybe you can type up your question. May, I gotcha. Let's see. Okay, how about you, Spells? What's your question? Okay, so I got. Go ahead, Spells. I got, okay, I got kind of confused on like 18 and 19 of the homework packet where you're okay. supposed to find the coterminal angle, but you don't have like a anything with quadrants to draw on exactly what you're supposed to do. Okay. Um, so draw yourself quadrants. I think that's really helpful. Um, let's see. And I see Leo asked, is it too late to turn in notes? It is not too late. Um, in the future, if you're going to be turning something in late, if you could just say, you know, shoot me a message. Hey, is it okay to, if I can have an extension? Um, and it's totally okay to turn stuff in late. Um, I do um, like it if you guys ask uh, is it, if it's okay to turn it in late. Okay, so um, it says find a coterminal angle between zero and 360 degrees because that's negative 45, that's gonna be going in the negative direction. 
45 degrees. So that's where negative 45 degrees would be. You can see that okay, right, Spells? Yes. Okay. And then another angle that's going to be between positive 0 and 360 would be one that goes in the counterclockwise direction. And so since this was 45 degrees away from 360, I'm going to do 360 minus 45 to figure out another angle that's coterminal with it. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, Selena, I see your question. And yeah, I tried to, um, let's see, I maybe, let's see. I'm gonna try to share a different screen with you here in just a second um, so that you can see Google Classroom and where to find stuff. Give me just a second, everybody. Um, oh, sheesh. Okay, I have a lot on my screen right now. I'm trying to see everything going on. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys, hopefully the right screen here. Okay, I think this is it. Okay, so if you go to Google Classroom and I'm gonna go to Math 3, I've got too many things in the way here. Um, and you click on classwork, you can see in classwork, um, I have, I've organized things so that like distance learning week one, this has the video lesson for this week. It has the lesson notes for this week. And then also has the practice assignment for this week. Okay, and so you would open this up and that's where you will not only have access to the notes, but that's actually where you will upload um, the notes when you're done taking them. And then here is that assignment that we were um, going over a couple of those problems on. Okay. Um, what determines positive and negative direction? Um, so, Sol, to answer your question, what determines the positive and negative direction is the problem will say, you know, it'll say negative 45 degrees, or you'll see that the angle is measured in the counterclockwise direction. Um, so let's see, let me go back to just me. So um, usually angles are measured in the positive direction. So usually they would be measured in that counterclockwise direction. And so you should usually do the positive angle in that counterclockwise direction. Um, so that hopefully answers your question. Um, it's now 12 o'clock, so our class is officially over. There may be people that need to go to other classes that start at noon, so I'm going to wrap this up, um, but I will stick around if there's people that have a couple more questions. Um, so if you guys can, can uh, log out and say goodbye now, or you can stick around um, and unmute yourself if you have a question. Jack, what you got? Wait, can you tell me the answer for number 19? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> um, just because I don't have the answers in front of me, but I can tell you um, a way to figure that out because 435 has gone past 360, right? So if you subtract it from 360, that should give you the um, the angle that's coterminal with it. Oh, okay. Um, other questions? I'm gonna go now. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. So does that mean that number 19, the answer is negative 75 or just 75? Did you say 19? Yes, negative. you said um, just subtract the number given from 360. Right, and so it would just be positive. Okay, then I did that very wrong, but thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so Leo, just to address um, the motivation thing, you know, I tried to to do a Zoom last week to talk about why trig is important. Um, so you can check on there if you would like to. Um, uh, it's it's important in terms of um, getting um, credit for the class too. So uh, if you are not participating in the class, then you don't get um, credit for the class. Your grade can't go down, but you but you don't get credit for the class if you're not participating in it. So um, you know, I really did try to limit the amount that I'm giving you each week so that 
you know, it's something that you feel like you can do. Um, and it's not taking too much of your time. Um, and, um, so yeah, I mean, that's, I, I'm sorry if you don't have any motivation and I totally get it, but, um, you know, the, the world goes on, we got to keep going. And, um, there are a lot of different careers that do use trigonometry. So, um, so yeah, I would say stick with it. It's totally unfortunate. I agree. <laughs> All right, anybody else have questions? I have one. Um, uh, for 20 through 22, is there a difference between it asking for uh, all coterminal angles compared to yeah. the questions? Yeah, so um, if you, let's see, I'm gonna go back to my um, bubble head here. So on the notes, I'm gonna switch to, Okay, so in the very last example, okay, so I'm in this last section here where he's talking about coterminal angles. The very last one there, um, it says all coterminal angles with 30 degrees. And so, you know, the next, like if you were to go around 360 again, it would be 30 plus 360, which is 390. And then you could go around 360 degrees again, which would be whatever 390 plus 360 is again. And then you could add 360 again. Um, and so if you had to list all coterminal angles, you would take one of those angles. So whatever the angle is that you start with, and then you just add 360 times N, where N is an integer, like one, two, three, four, five kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so that it's just, you know, multiplying, or it's just adding in another 360 each time. Okay. So that would be the answer alone? Um, the angle given plus 360 in? Uh, yeah, so like number 20, uh, even with my glasses on, I can't see what that says. Does that say? 85. Okay, so that's 85 there, which means that this, um, okay, you can't see what I'm looking at. Okay, so this angle here would be 90 plus 85. So 90 plus 85, what is that, 175? And so all coterminal angles would be that 175 plus 360 times n. Okay. Okay. All right, anybody else? All right, gonna sign off then. Hi, Ms. Grassle. Bye. Good to see you guys.